comparison to make as both breeds share the same long, slender frame. A build that allows them to be great runners. They're very lean, muscular animals. The Saluki has two different coat types, a smooth variety with short, silky fur and a more common feathered variety. Now, we're watching Dogs 101, and we notice Bella May tripping out. I don't think she cares for the Salukis too much. <laughs> Look at Gizmo, he's like, whoa, hold on. Sorry. The Saluki. There's a lot of bears and tigers and lions and things like that. But when you say Salukis, people automatically know that you're talking about Southern Illinois and University. Throughout Carbondale, the Saluki is an inescapable presence. From the many Saluki owners to the use of the Saluki image on all things related to the university. All the alumni carry their Saluki pride. I am Brandon Jacobs, running back for the New York Giants, and I am a Saluki. I get asked once a Saluki probably three times a week. My answer may be many. In the 1950s, the university adopted its first Saluki mascot, King Tut. Now that honor rotates among the many Salukis in town for each home game. We started to use uh, individuals in the community who owned the Salukis and then bring them out to the ball games. Today, Ramsey's has been selected to be the mascot for the Southern Illinois baseball game. It's a special moment for Vicky in what is always like, a fun game. Like it's very thrilling. Everybody's there, pumped like up and ready for the game. Actually, the dogs are too. Ramsey's proved. I've never seen her watch TV before, especially this attentively. When I was when the Australian. Uh, Sheep dogs were on too. She was watching it then, and I was like, "That's when I paused it, and I went outside." And when I came back, she before I had even unpaused it, she was looking. I know she can. She's growling. She's growling. Oh, 